On this day, exactly five years ago, the Toronto Raptors won their first and only NBA championships. So in this video, I wanted to look towards how far away are they from getting their next one? Let's get into it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Amateur Hour Sports 2, the second channel in the Amateur Hour Production Network, where we go through additional Toronto Raptors content and videos just like this. If you like what you see from this one, make sure you like the video and subscribe as well to the channel. Help us on a road to 2,000 subs over here. And if you haven't checked my main channel, Amateur Hour Sports, without the number, go over there and do so. Over 17,000 subs for more Raptors content. But looking back on five years since the 2019 NBA Championship for the Toronto Raptors, I kind of wanted to reflect on where the team has gone in those five years and perhaps looking five years later, can the team think about being back in any sort of position like this? Like realistically, how long should it take for the Raptors to be some sort of threat to win an NBA championship? And, you know, looking back on the five years, it, it really does feel like a long time. The Raptors have lived many lives in these past five years. You know, you had the season after, which was the bubble season where, even without Kawhi Leonard, I thought that team was good enough to to run it back. It's a shame they didn't, you know, have him to try and run it back. I think they very well could have as well. I think they could have done it without him. As I said, they had the difficult season in Tampa. Then they had the up year where they finished fifth seed in the Eastern Conference, 48 wins, and then a down year where they make the playing tournament, miss the playoffs, and then an even worse year where they tank and then don't even get their pick. So it's really been up and down since the championship, but there's been a lot more down in that time. The Raptors are probably the, lo the lowest point they've been in over a decade. So, you know, kind of thinking about where this team is heading and how long it's going to take, it, it probably is going to take a long time. But, you know, I don't want to look towards the future with, with like, this greed because, you know, you think of the 2019 NBA championship, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not even 25 years old yet, so... I don't know the hardships. Well, I guess the Raptors are much older than I am. So, you know, for a lot of fan bases out there, teams have been around a lot longer. People have been around a lot longer than me without having ever experienced an NBA championship, perhaps having never even experienced an NBA finals. So, you know, these things don't just happen. You really have to look back and truly appreciate what the Raptors accomplished. Like, championships don't happen in Toronto very often. You know, like the Leafs haven't won since 67. The Jays won in 93. Uh, you, well, I guess you can count MLS where the um, Toronto Trump was it 2017 they won the MLS Cup. But, if, you know, if you're counting the major North American sports, for the Leafs it's been like my parents didn't have any, never even seen a Leafs championship. I haven't seen a Blue Jays uh, World Series. Um, these things don't just happen. So you truly, truly, truly have to appreciate it. It's always difficult. And I think it'll be difficult, you're looking back at that championship, knowing that, you know, even five years later, it's going to be a lot more years before the Raptors can even consider being a contender. But it's going to be difficult to look back, you know, especially even just five years now. It's always difficult to think that, man, like, did you really cherish and appreciate that championship enough? Because it was, it was a monumental moment in my lifetime. But did I appreciate that enough? And I think... If I can ever see the Raptors win another NBA championship, I think it would mean even more because after winning one, perhaps a, a touch by surprise for the Raptors that season, they, I think in the last, in, like since 95, they are the second biggest underdog going to the season to win a championship. They might even be first, but anyways, an unexpected championship. I think that winning the next one, if I ever see another one, will mean even more because you understand the road and the hardships that it takes to get there. And you'll understand it even more being able to do it again. So I think that next one will be even sweeter if the Raptors get there. But, you know, how long should it take for the Raptors to get there? When you look back on the champions of the last 20, 30 years, they really all have pretty much one thing in common. Uh, if, if they do have one thing in common, it's, it's an MVP caliber player. And... Pretty much all of the teams that have won a championship, other than the Raptors since like since like the mid '80s, maybe even we can go earlier than that, have had either an MVP on their team or a player that had won, an, either a player that was going to win MVP at some point in their career or a player that had won MVP at some point in their career. Other than the Raptors, which is strange, but 
you you, you got to have that top tier sort of talent. You know, it's one thing. You know, uh, the Pistons are the other one. That's that's one of the other ones that doesn't have one. You, know, you can obviously have such top tier talent, but those are more so anomalies. You need that top tier player. So, how do you get that? You get lucky a lot of the time. It is you know you never know. You got to just come into getting an MVP caliber sort of player. I think Kawhi Leonard could easily be considered an MVP caliber player if he could stay healthy for a full season, especially uh, the way in which he played for the Toronto Raptors. So you, know, you look at the Raptors team currently. I don't think it's completely out of the possibilities that Scotty Barnes can get to that point, but you need like a top tier one, a sort of star player to win a championship. Um, you know, the Boston Celtics this season, Tatum probably won't win an MVP in his career, I think at this point, but you know, that's a top tier player and a top tier cast around him. So you don't necessarily need that sort of player, but you need a top tier, like one top 10 player in the NBA on your team. I, I, I think Scotty Barnes is capable of doing that. He is an all-star 22 years old. And the, the game is just going to be to continue to supplement that player through the draft and finding talent and developing them. You know, look at the Celtics. Um, the main two players, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, drafted, developed. And some savvy business along the way to bring in Drew Holiday for Marcus Smart. To send, or they, they essentially traded Marcus Smart and got Chris Stats Porzingis. They gave away like nothing and got Drew Holiday. So savvy business plus with uh, added on with drafting well, which the Raptors seemingly did with Scotty Barnes. And it seems like the next few years are going to be the key to finding that talent to supplement him. That is the guy you're building around Scotty Barnes. You've got your first round pick in 2025. You got your first round pick in 2026 and the Indiana Pacers pick in 2026. You know, you do well in these drafts. You even just get one really good player. You get two decent players around that. Build them up. Uh, I, you know, I, I think the earliest that the Raptors could go on and win a championship here, I'm kind of rambling, but that's the point of this video. The earliest they could really do it, and this is even a stretch, is probably five years. But, you know, that's when you've got the 25 draft picks, the 26 draft picks still on their rookie contracts. Hopefully you do well there. Hopefully they can develop well. Hopefully they supplement the core that's in place while they're on those cheap contracts. That's really like the ideal strike zone for this core, five years' time. You think of the 2019 championship team. You know, how could you pay Kyle Lowry, Kyle, Kawhi Leonard, Marcus Gasol, Serge Ibaka, all these crazy salaries? Siakam was on a rookie contract still, was a key player. Fred Van Vliet was on a rookie contract still, a key player. Um, OG Ananobi was... I think just about to end his rookie contract, a key player uh, who was injured, but would have been a key player. Norman Powell at times an important player rookie contract. So you got to supplement the core. The core seems to be in place with those young players. So develop the guys that are in place, find the guys in the draft. All this is easier said than done. The earliest they can do it in my mind, five years, but Hey, oftentimes these predictive windows come and go and nothing really happens. It's very hard to put yourself in a position to win a championship. Like, even when the Raptors won their championship, like, other than the championship, they made the conference finals once, and that's it. You know, it, it's hard to find continued and sustained success, and when you do have that opportunity, you don't always seize it. Look at the Phoenix Suns, how good they are. It looks like this window's going to pass them by. It doesn't just happen. So, honestly, I, I just hope at some point, I can see another championship for the Raptors. And I think if I did, I'd be, I, I mean, I think I got to be happy with the one, but I, I, I'd really be happy to see one more. And again, who knows how long that could take. The earliest, in my opinion, it could happen is five years, but, you know, brace yourself. It could take a whole lot longer than that. And you never really know. So cherish the one we have. Five years ago today feels like a very long time. Hopefully they don't keep us waiting too, too much longer in the future to celebrate another championship in the city of Toronto. And uh, hey, my pick for any champion would be the Toronto Raptors. So what are your thoughts in the video? What are your thoughts in the timeline? Give me your opinions in the comments down below. Check out the other channels that I have in the Amateur Hour Production Network. Most importantly, subscribe to this channel right here. Help us on the road to 2,000 subs. And I'll see you again next time for another video here on Amateur Sports 2.